So, Zach, the first thing we're going to talk about, proper helmet fit. How, how do you know? Well, it, you know, it's really not that difficult. I would assess this size. I think he's probably a medium. I'd have him put it on. So now once I've put this helmet on, the first thing that I want to look at is, does it go just behind, above his eyebrows? I don't want it to fall down below his eyebrows. I don't want to sit it high on his head. So now I can move the helmet around a little bit. I'll have him strap it up. And I also look for the cheek pads. I want the cheek pads are really important with youth players because their heads are so small, so that's comfortable. Then I'll ask him, I'll move the helmet around a little bit. It looks like it's snug. And I'll ask, how's it feel? Feels good. All right, is it too tight? No, nice and snug. Does, does it feel loose? No, nope, Okay. Now I want it snug. And if, the, if, you, if a lot of players go, ah, oh, it's yeah. too tight, I go, well, listen, we're going to sweat. The hair is going to start to reduce, and so it's going to shrink. Our head will shrink a little bit, if you will, yeah. unless they're bald. Because if it's moving around, it's yeah. not protecting your head the way it needs to. Right. right. I have a demo to show you. All right, so, Zach, this is traditional old-school foam padding, whereas this is new padding. This is shut TPU padding. So I want you to pretend for a moment that this is your, your head, okay? These watermelons. And this demo is what happens with head-to-head -head contact, and in particular, Meryl, I'm assuming you had the old traditional foam padding. Back in the day. So I want you to watch your feet because these balls are very heavy. So head to head contact. Are you ready? This is what happens. I'm not. <laughs> let's, let's just compare this really quickly. This, this is the helmet with the old padding. And this is the head. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of injury, but the difference is what really matters because. A lot of these collisions over time, the smaller collisions with this new padding, you don't have quite the same impact. And for someone like you who's have, who had numerous concussions over a period of time, that would have played a huge role for you. Yeah, well, Travis, I think well, there's a great message here, too. It, the helmet will never prevent concussions. We can try to reduce them with better equipment, and we're trying to do that. The Noxy symbol is what you look for, and it's on the back of, it should be on the back of your helmet. Noxie so parents, symbol? it's Noxy. So but that means the helmet that. has gone through, gone through the proper all those tests. tests. Yes. 